This is a vulnerability affecting Hyundai and Genesis vehicles where you could basically remotely control the locks, engine horn, headlights, and trunk of vehicles made after 2012. A lot of this is telematics. So if you're able to trick the car into communicating with you, you can figure out how these things work pretty easily. And that's what these researchers did. By using Burp Suite, they could go in and see what the actual requests were. They were able to fuzz the Hyundai user account registration and found out that it didn't require users to confirm their email address. They were able to set up a different account with a different email address that didn't even exist, the server that was receiving it thought it was the same email address and went ahead and executed the command. They were returned information about the user, which included their VIN, and that's all they needed to construct requests to send directly to the car and tell it to do any of these things that they wanted it to do. Then they went so far as to create a Python script that only needs the victim's email address in order to attack their vehicle and achieve basically remote control over most of the primary functions of the vehicle 